Hey, Shug. Welcome back to Nisi Girl Tarot. So we're here to do the collective reading for Wednesday, September 27th. Okay. If the reading does not resonate, please do not try to make it. Okay. For Wednesday, <laughs> September 27th. One more shuffle, spirit, please. Okay. Let's see. What do we have for the collective for today, Wednesday, September 27th? Wednesday, September 27th. That's a lot. Yo, that's a lot. Okay, I can't take that many. We'll be all day. We'll be all day. Let's see. For the collective. Wednesday, September 27th. Don't let pride get in your way, okay? With a win-win outcome is forecast, okay? So this is full moon in Leo. Don't let pride get in your way, okay? With a win-win outcome is forecast, full moon in Libra, okay? Let's see. Okay. A win-win outcome is forecast. The full moon in Libra, the sign of partnership, of falling in love, and of closely relating to someone else. Since full moons are about climaxes and conclusions, this card suggests you're either about to start a new relationship or that an existing, important existing relationship is changing somehow, perhaps coming to an end or moving to a new level of commitment. It's important to remember that people come to us for a reason and sometimes just for a season. If relationship is ending now, it's doing so at the right time, so try not to fight it. This card is, can also refer to a professional relationship. There's a sense that you need to balance your ego with someone else's needs. A win-win outcome is possible with give and take. Doing so might be the answer to your question, okay? Give and take, okay? We saw that this week. Okay, it might be more, uh, it might be better for you to give rather than to take or to see what somebody else can do for you. How about what you can do for them? Right? Let's see. Okay, let's see. A win win outcome is forecast for the collective spirit. A win win outcome is forecast. One more. Okay, please make this clear. Why is a win-win outcome is forecast here for the collector? So either something is, is going to the next level or something is coming to an end. Okay, with the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, and Temperance. Okay, something is coming into balance. Okay, it could be a family, a structure as far as like, home, long-term commitment, something is coming into balance because someone is taking, um, not ownership, taking accountability, okay, for whatever disappointment has occurred, okay? Yeah, this could be a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn, all right? With the Knight of Swords energy and the Three of, Pentac Three of Cups and the Six of Cups, Knight of Swords, Three of Cups, Six of Cups. This can be the removal of a group, a family, a a uh, friend from the past. Okay, a third party. Okay, yeah. So it's coming to an end. It's coming to a close. Ten of Swords. Okay, 
There could be a mother figure involved. The Empress energy tried to go into reverse. Okay, this could be a nasty mother figure. Okay, <laughs> she can be hell on wheels. Okay, <laughs> three of cups. Okay, yeah, there is some type of past family structure, family dynamic that has been um, a problem. Okay, <laughs> why is a win win outcome is forecast here for the collective? When when outcome is four K, three of swords. Okay, because maybe that friend, that associate, that group of people from the past will experience some type of heartbreak. Okay, okay, or disappointment. All right, but with this will of fortune here, there's a time for healing. Okay, there's a change that's occurring here. Right, this could include a fire sign in Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Okay, why is it when when Outcome is forecast here for the collective. Yeah, with the cherry energy. All right, there's movement forward, okay, in a connection. All right, with the four of wands in a home and a structure. Because someone is stepping up to get on the same page with someone, okay? To bring things into balance, okay? There is a Ten of Pentacles situation, dynamic, long-term situation, dynamic that is coming into balance, okay? With don't let pride get in your way here. Full Moon and Leo. That message says this. Have you been letting your pride become an obstacle? Is the question you're asking based on your ego or is it from your heart? Leo energy is all about the heart. Think of the big hearted king of the jungle, the lion. Its energy is magnificent, but when it's combined with the rush of the full moon, it can become over the top. This car may come to you because you need to end a deadlock, once again, that has developed. More love and thoughts for the greater good are the solution to the dilemma. If you've not been doing as you would be done by lately, this is a time to find a balance between your own needs and the needs of the people around you. This will help in all your relationships. Okay? So, are you being too selfish? Are you thinking only about yourself? Okay? Let's see. Why is... Don't let your pride get in the way here. Because it seems like you're experiencing some type of deadlock in the situation. But a win-win outcome is forecast because some type of situation is coming into balance. Don't let pride get in your way. Okay. Yeah. Page of Pentacles is about an offer. Okay. But... Leaving something behind, Eight of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles, someone has been procrastinating in doing that, okay? Why is don't let pride get in your way here for the collective? The star. Mm -hmm. It didn't turn over them. Strength card, Leo energy. Okay, so you're going to have to gather the strength. If that's what you want, okay, that's what the star energy is. It's about wishes being fulfilled. If that's what you want, okay, you're going to have to gather the strength, strength card, okay, to leave something behind, all right? But you're procrastinating on doing so, okay? With the four of swords and the queen of wands, okay, there could be healing in the situation with that queen of wands that we saw yesterday, Okay. With the sun card, right? Because it's clear of what the problem is, okay? Someone is just not being honest, okay? They're just, they're not being honest. The problem is that someone's not being honest, okay? You're trying to cooperate or build on something that's done, okay? Three of Pentacles and a Ten of Swords. Will of Fortune, it's time for a change. Okay, yeah. it's clear what the conflict is. Okay, 
So there could be definitely be healing in a situation with someone. Okay. Yeah. It's time to end a cycle of sadness, of regret, of disappointment, of this not working out, or why can't I have this, or why this ain't go this way. Okay. With the tower energy, that's that sudden change. All right. Yeah. Four of Wands, the hangman, stuck in the past, okay? So some type, okay. So someone could be sitting in the energy of shoulda, coulda, wouldas. If I had done this, if I had did that, if I had done this. It's like you're trying to work on something that's already done, okay? Yeah, with the tower energy and the four of wands, there was a tower to a relationship, to a dynamic, to a home situation, okay? And someone is stuck in that burden from the past, Okay, it's like they they haven't let it go, All right? And that's that ending the cycle of past regrets. Okay, the universe with the five of cups. It's like closing out that cycle. They come out of that stagnation. Okay, you're resisting happiness. It's clear where the conflict is. You haven't you haven't completed healing with someone that you had this upheaval with. Okay, yeah. But there's a win-win outcome that's forecast. You just stop being stubborn. Spirit is reading. <laughs> it's like going this week, seriously. So that's what I have for you, shit. I hope this helped. I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Wish you guys already. Bye.